Istanbul is one of the most historically rich and culturally vibrant cities in the world, straddling two continents, Europe and Asia, across the Bosphorus Strait. Originally founded as Byzantium around 660 BC by Greek colonists, it later became the capital of the Roman Empire in 330 BC under Emperor Constantine the Great, who renamed it Constantinople. As the capital of the Byzantine Empire, Constantinople was a major center of Christianity and later became the focal point of the Eastern Orthodox Church. Conquered by the Ottomans in 1453, the city was renamed Istanbul and served as the capital of the Ottoman Empire until its dissolution in 1922. It played a pivotal role as a center of the Islamic world and a hub for trade, culture, and administration. Istanbul boasts an impressive array of historical and architectural landmarks, including Hagia Sophia, Top Copy Palace, Blue Mosque, Basilica Sister. Istanbul houses numerous museums, art galleries, and cultural centers, including the Istanbul Archaeology Museums, Istanbul Modern, and the Para Museum. Istanbul is uniquely positioned on both sides of the Bosphorus Strait, which separates Europe and Asia. This strategic location has made it a critical connector of cultures and continents. With a population of over 15 million people, Istanbul is the largest city in Turkey and one of the most populous cities in the world. The city is characterized by its hills, Golden Horn Inlet, and the beautiful waterfront views along the Bosphorus. Historically and presently, Istanbul is an essential trade hub. Its economy is diverse with strong sectors in finance, manufacturing, retail, and tourism. The port of Istanbul is one of the busiest in the region, crucial for both maritime trade and tourism. As one of the top tourist destinations globally, Istanbul attracts millions of visitors annually who come to experience its rich history, culture, and cuisine. The Galata Bridge is an iconic bridge in Istanbul, which spans the Golden Horn, an inlet that divides the European side of Istanbul. The concept of bridging the Golden Horn dates back to the 6th century, but the first bridge was constructed in 1845. The current bridge is the fifth one built at this location, completed in 1994. The modern Galata Bridge is a bascule bridge, meaning it can be raised to allow ships to pass through. It combines elements of traditional and contemporary designs and has two levels. The upper level for vehicular and pedestrian traffic, and the lower level featuring a line of cafes and restaurants, offering scenic views of the water and the city. The Commando Stairs are a historic and architecturally unique pedestrian staircase located in the Galata district of Istanbul. The Galata Tower, located in the Galata, Karakoy district of Istanbul, is one of the city's most iconic landmarks. The Galata Tower was originally constructed in 1348 during the medieval period by the Genoese colony in Constantinople. It was called the Tower of Christ at the time. The tower was built as part of the fortification surrounding the Genoese district of Galata, serving as a watchtower for defensive purposes. The tower stands about 67 meters, 220 feet tall, including its conical cap. It is constructed from stone and features a cylindrical shape. The Galata Tower has a Romanesque architectural style with thick walls and small windows. The conical roof, which gives the tower its distinctive silhouette, was added during restorations in the 19th century. The tower has undergone several restorations and reconstructions over the centuries, especially after damage caused by fires and earthquakes. Major renovations took place in the Ottoman period and again in the 1960s and 2020. During the 16th century, the tower was used by astronomer Taki Ad-Din for astronomical observations. In the Ottoman era, the tower also served as a prison for a time. It was used as a fire watchtower to help detect fires in the city. Today, the Galata Tower is a popular tourist destination. 
Visitors can ascend to the observation deck near the top, which offers panoramic views of Istanbul. Karakoy Tram Stop is part of the Istanbul Tram System, specifically on the T1 line, which is one of the city's most important and widely used tram lines. The T1 line runs from Kabatas to Bagsalar, connecting several key areas on the European side of Istanbul. The Obelisk of Theodosius is a historical monument located in the Sultanahmet Square in Istanbul. The obelisk was originally erected in the Temple of Karnak in Luxor, Egypt, during the reign of Pharaoh Thutmose III around 1450 BC. In 357 AD, the Roman Emperor Constantius II had the obelisk transported to Alexandria to commemorate his victory over the Persians. It remained there until Emperor Theodosius I ordered it to be brought to Constantinople in 390 AD. The obelisk is made of red granite from Aswan and stands approximately 25.6 meters, 84 feet tall. The Blue Mosque, officially known as the Sultan Ahmed Mosque, is one of Istanbul's most famous and historically significant landmarks. Commissioned by Sultan Ahmed I, the mosque was constructed between 1609 and 1616 during the Ottoman Empire. It was designed by the architect Sedefkar Memdaga, a student of the great Ottoman architect Memar Sinan. Sultan Ahmed I intended the mosque to reassert Ottoman power and to create a legacy comparable to the grandeur of the Hagia Sophia, which stands nearby. The mosque is renowned for its stunning and harmonious blend of traditional Islamic architecture with some Byzantine elements from the neighboring Hagia Sophia. The design features a large central dome flanked by semi-domes, creating a spacious and light-filled interior. Unlike typical mosques, which usually have one or two minarets, the Blue Mosque has six minarets, making it uniquely distinctive. The central dome is 23.5 meters in diameter and reaches a height of 43 meters, supported by four massive pillars known as elephant feet. The mosque's nickname, the Blue Mosque, comes from the blue is nick tiles that adorn the interior walls. These tiles feature intricate floral and geometric designs, contributing to the mosque's ethereal beauty. The interior is also decorated with verses from the Quran, written by the prominent calligrapher Seyyid Qasim Gabari. The mosque's mirab, prayer niche, is made of finely carved and sculpted marble. The minbar, pulpit, stands beside it and exhibits similar craftsmanship. The courtyard is nearly as large as the interior of the mosque itself and is surrounded by a continuous arcaded wall. It includes a central ablution fountain, although it is not used for ceremonial purposes. The courtyard has several entrances, one grand main entrance through which the Sultan would enter. The Blue Mosque is an active mosque and serves as a place of worship for Muslim congregational prayers, especially significant for the Friday prayers and during the holy month of Ramadan. It is one of Istanbul's top tourist destinations, welcoming millions of visitors each year. It remains open to tourists outside of prayer times. Together with the Hagia Sophia, the Blue Mosque dominates the skyline of Istanbul's historic Sultanahmet district. The mosque is integral to the city's cultural and historical identity. The surrounding Sultanahmet Square is often used for significant public events and celebrations, such as during the Ramadan nights when it becomes especially lively. Visitors are required to adhere to a modest dress code. Women must wear headscarves, and everyone should cover their shoulders and knees. Scarves and robes are usually available at the entrance. The mosque is closed to tourists during the five daily prayers, with specific closure times evident at the mosque's entrance. There is no entrance fee. Recent efforts have focused on structural reinforcements, cleaning of the tiles and calligraphy, and ensuring that the mosque can withstand the rigors of both worship and tourism. The Blue Mosque continues to be a symbol of Istanbul and the enduring legacy of the Ottoman Empire offering a splendid glimpse into the architectural and cultural achievements of its time.
Hagia Sophia Grand Mosque, also known as Hagia Sophia in Turkish, is one of the most significant and iconic historic buildings in Istanbul, recognized for its stunning architecture and rich history. Originally built as a cathedral by the Byzantine Emperor Justinian I, Hagia Sophia was completed in 537 AD. It served as the principal church of the Eastern Orthodox Church and the seat of the Ecumenical Patriarchate of Constantinople for almost 1,000 years. The building was designed by the architects Anthemius of Trolleys and Isidore of Miletus, featuring an innovative and grand domed structure that was considered an architectural marvel of its time. After the Ottoman conquest of Constantinople in 1453, Sultan Mem II ordered the conversion of Hagia Sophia into a mosque. The building underwent modifications, including the addition of minarets, a mirab, niche indicating the direction of Mecca, and a minbar, pulpit. In 1935, following the establishment of the Turkish Republic, Mustafa Kemal Ataturk, the founder of modern Turkey, transformed Hagia Sophia into a secular museum as part of his reforms. In July 2020, a Turkish court annulled the 1934 decision that had turned Hagia Sophia into a museum. Shortly after, President Recep Tayyip Erdogan signed a decree reconverting it into a mosque known as the Hagia Sophia Grand Mosque. The central dome of Hagia Sophia is one of its most striking features, with a diameter of about 31 meters, 102 feet, and a height of around 55 meters, 180 feet. It exemplifies Byzantine architectural ingenuity and has influenced the design of subsequent religious buildings. The interior features expansive spaces, intricate mosaics depicting Christian iconography, many of which were plastered over when the building was converted into a mosque, and beautiful calligraphic panels from the Ottoman era. The four minarets were added during the Ottoman period, symbolizing the building's status as a mosque. The alterations included supporting buttresses and Islamic architectural elements. Originally a central place of worship for Byzantine Christians, Hagia Sophia holds immense historical significance for Orthodox Christians. As a mosque, it is one of the key historical monuments representing Ottoman Islamic heritage. Recognized as part of the historic areas of Istanbul, Hagia Sophia is listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site highlighting its universal cultural value and architectural significance. Since its reconversion in 2020, Hagia Sophia operates as an active mosque with regular prayers. However, it remains open to visitors of all faiths outside of prayer times. The site continues to attract millions of tourists annually, drawn by its historical, cultural, and architectural splendor. Visitors are required to observe certain dress codes and behaviors respectful of its status as a functioning place of worship. There are continuous efforts to preserve and maintain Hagia Sophia, owing to its ancient structure and the challenges posed by its historical modifications. Conservation of its mosaics and structural integrity are key concerns for preservationists. Hagia Sophia Grand Mosque stands as an enduring symbol of the rich, layered history of Istanbul reflecting the city's unique position at the crossroads of civilizations, religions, and cultures. Its architectural grandeur and historical transitions embody the complex and multifaceted heritage of this vibrant city. Istanbul Airport, officially known as Istanbul New Airport, is a major international airport located on the European side of Istanbul, Turkey. It is one of the largest airports in the world and serves as a significant aviation hub connecting Europe, Asia, and beyond. Situated approximately 40 kilometers, about 25 miles, northwest of the city center, the airport is accessible via the O7 motorway and various public transportation options. 
Istanbul Airport spans over 76.5 million square meters and is designed to accommodate up to 200 million passengers annually once all phases of construction are completed, making it one of the busiest airports in the world. The airport has a single terminal with multiple concourses, designed to handle both domestic and international flights. It offers state-of-the-art amenities including lounges, luxury shops, duty-free stores, a wide range of dining options, conference halls, and hotels. The terminal is expansive, ensuring efficient passenger flow and minimizing congestion. Currently, Istanbul Airport has five operational runways, with plans for more in future expansions. These runways can accommodate a wide range of aircraft, including the largest commercial planes. The airport serves as a major hub for Turkish Airlines, offering flights to destinations worldwide. It is well connected to most continents, providing extensive options for international travel. Istanbul Airport is accessible by various modes of transportation, including taxis, buses, and private transfers. The Havis Shuttle Service provides transportation between the airport and key locations in Istanbul. Future plans include the extension of the city's metro system to the airport for added convenience. The airport is designed with sustainability in mind, incorporating energy-efficient systems, waste management programs, and green building practices. Advanced technology is integrated throughout the airport, including automated check-in and baggage handling systems, biometric screening, and robust security measures. Istanbul Airport is renowned for its architectural design and passenger experience. Many travelers appreciate its modern facilities, efficient services, and the wide range of amenities available. Since its opening, Istanbul Airport has received several awards and accolades for its design, operational efficiency, and contribution to the aviation industry. Istanbul Airport stands as a testament to modern engineering and operational excellence, playing a crucial role in global air travel and significantly contributing to Turkey's connectivity and economy. Whether you're flying domestically or internationally, the airport offers a seamless and comfortable travel experience. Istanbul has an extensive and diversified public transportation network to cater to its dense population and geographically split layout across Europe and Asia. The tram system, with lines such as T1, T2, T3, T4, and T5, operates on the ground level and is particularly useful in both historically significant areas and newer regions. Istanbul Card is a smart card used for seamless payments across almost all public transport modes including metro, tram, bus, ferry, and funicular systems. Reloadable and convenient, it offers discounted rates compared to single-use tickets, 